everyone, how are you doing? My name is Drew Nolan and I am here in my own home and we are about to do some balloons. Now, since it's officially 2020, I decided to give you two balloons today, which will both be dinosaurs. And the best part is, is that you have to do basically the same thing to get these shapes. So pay attention and I hope you enjoy. We will be doing a T-Rex and we will be doing a Parasaurophilus. Are you ready? You will need two balloons. I use two 260 balloons, long ones like this, and I've chosen, because they are dinosaurs, the color green. You can make whatever choice you wish, but each of these balloons, when you fill them up and tie them off, will have about five to six finger lengths at the end of it. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we want to do is make a shape like this. This will be the lower body, and it will, up, it will also serve as the legs of both our dinosaurs. I'm going to show you how to do this right now with a slightly different and lighter green here. Same finger length, all inflated. Let's go for it. I'm going to make a one inch bubble, right? and I'm going to do an ear twist. A flower petal, about a two to three finger length bubble, another one with an ear twist, Another two to three, depending on the length of your balloon, they can differ. Then I'm going to do slightly longer, four to five, and then another four to five. So there's one, here's two, and I'm just going to wrap them up like that. So there's one leg, and we have the torso of our dinosaur. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did here over here. Three to four, one inch bubble. Another three to four, and here's the kicker. I'm going to twist at the end of this to make the flower petal. Twist right there. So that is how you do it. The lower body of a dinosaur. Now, which one should we do for this one? I guess everyone's favorite, the T-Rex. So I'm going to put this aside for just a moment. I'm going to go with my other same colored green balloon. These are lime green, so whatever color you want to use. Again, your choice. Here we go. So, one one inch bubble, two, and instead of ear twist, we're going to put the nozzle right here. These will be the eyes. Then I'm going to go for a three, three to four, right there. Another three to four. You can make a little bit longer than the original. This one can be a little bit longer than this one. Then you're going to tie these two ends together. This will be the head of our ferocious dinosaur, the T-Rex. And probably the most popular dinosaur by far. Ever since he did battle with that big ape in that black and white film, his popularity has just soared. Absolutely. Now, we're going down a little bit, about three to four lengths. Then we're going to do a one-inch bubble into an ear twist. Two. Two-inch. Right there. Then once again, here into here. These will be the itty bitty arms. Now we have the upper body. I'm going to take this and keep it handy. And you do not have to do this next part. If you want, you can just go down, make sure you have plenty of room to do this, and do about a five length, then make the twist. However, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to make back ridges. So I'm going to do a series no more than three of one inch bubbles. Still have a little bit of room at the tail. I'm going to keep those bubbles together. Then I'm going to push it right through the center of this. Are you ready? This might be the most anxiety inducing part. There we go. Check that. Nice. Perfection. Mwah. Yes. Now, I still have a little bit of room. If the tail is sticking out a little bit, then do not worry. Right here, squeeze as much pressure as you can out. Another one inch bubble and get that ear twist, that last ear twist. And then I like to cinch it up nice and tight with the legs around once. Then you have your T-Rex. 
eyes, mouth, arms, ridges down the back, legs, and a long tail to hang on to. <sighs> Beautiful, isn't it? Now, this is a basic theropod dinosaur, which basically means bipedal, walks on two feet. Now, this is a meat eater, a carnivore. Let's work on the herbivore. So I'm going to carefully place this off to the side, and I'll draw eyes on him once we get the second one done. I'm going to grab this device, which you've seen before, same premise, same basic twists, but this will be a little different, so I hope you're still paying attention. Firstly, I'm going to take about a two to three finger length bubble, right there, then I'm going to do two one inch, and I'm going to tie them together with a twist between them. And I'm even going to make both of them an ear twist. There you go. Now remember, this is the Parasaurophilus. If you don't know which one that is, look it up in a book. It's a beautiful and wonderful animal. Well, just like the T-Rex we did before, about three to four, and then another three to four, tie them together, and there you have it. The head is basically the same. This one has that nice... Uh, cranial ridge going off the back of the skull. It was a wonderful dinosaur, very strange, kind of like the duck-billed uh, mouth as well. Uh, still, sublime animal when it was alive. And basically the same thing happens that we did for the T-Rex. Coming down about three. One, into an ear, into an ear twist. Here, I gotta get that. And the best of us make mistakes. Then, the little arms. And for this one, I'm not going to give it the back ridges like I gave the T-Rex. I'm just going to go down a four to five, keep it straight. I want to grab the legs and the lower torso. Once again, squeeze it through. If you don't like the sound of balloons squeaking, uh, I'm sorry, but what's done is done. And once again, I still have a little bit of room in the tail. Squeeze all that pressure out. One inch bubble right at the base of the tail. Twist. And you have your dinosaur. A Parasaurophilus and a T-Rex. Basically the same shapes, slight differentiations on how you can take the backs and, of course, the heads. Wonderful creatures. Now, I'm going to grab my marker. I'm going to give them <laughs> some facial expression, primarily eyes and nostrils. Remember, soft tip Sharpies, always soft tip Sharpies. There we go. Beautiful. Nostrils right there. Hopefully they don't have a cold. And T-Rex. I want to give the T-Rex the mean eyes. I always encourage everyone to learn as much as you can about dinosaurs. After all, one of my other jobs beyond balloon sculpting is I do work with dinosaurs with the Coda and Friends. So, there we have it. Some wonderful dinosaurs. Can you see those eyes? Don't they look wonderful, everybody? Well, from all of us from the Triassic, Jurassic, and Lake Cretaceous, we wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. Keep practicing, and I'll see you back on my channel some other time. Take care and keep things entertaining.